What is that? Tricking is tricking dot com. The issue involved here was my repeated irresponsible behavior. I was unfaithful. There was no prenuptial agreement. No. And why should there be? There's a certain sense of idealism that comes with being young that I wouldn't trade for anything in the world. We, we got married to be together forever. N not to plan for divorce. I wouldn't, I, I wouldn't know how to go about to ask her to sign it. If you're going to marry somebody, you trust them. And that's what marriage is all about, is being together for the rest of your life. For this stage of my life, I do have many and millions. My wife would just have to ask for it, and she has every penny I have. If, want, if she wants it right now, take my, she can leave right now. Take everything I have and just leave. She has the right to do it. She has the, the power to do it. Welcome to the mini-series. We've got a lot to cover here shortly, so grab a snack and get cozy because it's about to go down. First, let's discuss the formula that exists within the psyche of the average human male. Certain things in your life are more important to you than others. Well, when we examine the importance of women, we can see this example clearly. There are different characteristics to which directly apply unto each of us. Therefore, our mental and physical dependencies and or interaction toward important factors determine our behavior. You will need to understand the basic process of desire and importance before realizing the construct of your own behavioral traits. Because in order to grasp the simplicity level of a male's way of thinking, you must first adapt to your own beliefs respectively. It's all relative to establishing power. You cannot have power in the influence of anything until gaining control and power over yourself. It's just that simple, plain and true. There's a lot of hidden messages that you don't even consciously detect from males. For all the subtle gestures administered toward you, you'll recognize only 5% at best. That's because your mind isn't actually being controlled by you. In other words, you don't even own your thoughts. If you're already confused at this point, then feel free to take a break because the purpose of this information is to provide you with a balance of self-understanding and not to advance in relation to money despite its title. Look, finding a sucker is easy. The true art form lies in those actions requiring finesse. Not every woman has it. Confidence is key. So, if you don't believe that an education in the power of self is rightfully for you, then please get the fuck away from this information. There are essentially two different female personality types. The first being complacent with that of a mundane existence. You know, the woman who casually accepts anything in terms of what is presented before her. Whereas the other type is always bound to make a splash wherever she may. The latter type is the one who will likely benefit from the art of advancement via male seduction fittingly. Remember. That for without control, power cannot exist. A powerless woman is utterly useless, given any capacity. Your best indicator of balancing this control is by engaging casual conversation. Yes, what we commonly take for granted can be utilized effectively to control others. Start paying very close attention to everything that a person says. In direct conversation, it is imperative to practice steering people in your direction of intent. For example, what might a guy say if you asked him the question, how big is your dick? 
Now, do you really believe that most guys would hesitate to react given they find you even slightly attractive? There's not a chance, married or unmarried. They can be hooked or baited into acting a certain type of way. It never gets old. The reason being is due to their perception of the female. Like it or not, but virtually all men are weak in a sense. There are very few exceptions, however. Of them are often guys who were solely raised by women. But it doesn't just stop there. A loyalty unto women or a single woman may cause him to project his ideology being submissive there toward. The game all depends on your attitude. I met many women of whom seek the easy catch of a male, but if he's too easy, then perhaps his pockets are shallow. Usually, shallow pockets also reflect a shallow mindset. I urge you to challenge yourself. Challenging yourself includes pursuing the intellectual type of male, the one who is business oriented, the same one who actually extends the courtesy of pursuing you. I'm referring to the type of guy that wants to fall in love. So disregard the bullshit act or front like notion that appears among the surface. Truthfully, most guys are soft beyond their exteriors, but the problem with many women involves cracking their heart and exterior. Males are of the biggest frauds and posers alike in essence. You must understand that you're pursuing him is of the dumbest actions seriously. This is because he's already in the pursuit of a woman. Any female who so remotely suits his taste criteria can have him easily. But upon the surface, it may not appear as apparent to someone who doesn't value herself. When you value yourself, you can see right through him. Do you see it now? It all refers back to the idea of gaining control over one's self. The hardest part in this exercise will be ridding yourself of the accumulated thought patterns that hold no real value. If your soul strategy consists of gaining his trust, then you'll likely fail. Here's why. Gaining a sucker's trust is like playing the lottery. You might gain a dollar or two, but it doesn't equate to winning the main prize. In other words, a male's trust is easy to gain. This becomes automatic in due time. A great example is whenever a so-called couple begin to share a living quarters. Though the aforementioned can often stem from desperation, either party somewhat resultingly extends their affection for the other. It's very important to not overlook the qualities of careful consideration because your objective should always remain in considering his every action. Try to find a motive behind his every move. He'll usually become open to spilling details of his innermost thoughts following any such sexual encounter. Just think of it as a means of, I got what I wanted, so now I'll provide you the information that you sought. And it's just that simple. Who is that? Trekkingistricking.com